Hello and welcome to our look at our top 10 tips for choosing the perfect cabin on the cruise ship. One of the aspects that can prove the hardest to come to a decision on is which cabin to book for your next cruise holiday. There tends to be only a few cruise lines we want to sail on. We already have some destinations in mind when first looking for our next cruise and we always stick to the same sort of budget. One variable we cannot have too much control over is the exact cabin we will get to choose to sail in and with ships having thousands of them and also you spending most of your time on board in it, your cabin is something that you simply need to get right for your perfect cruise holiday. When you first start out, it can seem overwhelming, especially if you are sailing for the first time, on board a new ship or on one of the gigantic mega ships. Thankfully, there are several things that when you know what you want from them, the process becomes much simpler. So as ever, don't forget to like and subscribe, and why not leave a comment below with your tips for choosing a cruise cabin. My name is Darren, and this is our look at our top 10 tips for picking your next stateroom. Different lines give this option a different name, but if you really cannot choose a cabin, or if you just don't care where you are located, most lines will offer a huge discount to those who choose a sail away rate. You select the type of cabin, so inside or outside, etc, and then you are assigned the cabin by the line. That normally happens close to departure, and if you're on a busy sailing, you will likely have the worst located cabin of your type. But if you're on a quieter sailing, you could end up with a great bargain for a cabin you would have picked anyway. If you leave it until the last minute before booking your cruise, the chances are that there will only be a limited number of cabins left, and often they will be in the worst locations on the ship. If you want to have the widest pick of cabins, and often the best prices, you really need to be booking your cruise almost as soon as it goes on sale. Before choosing a cabin, Make sure you check the deck plans for your ship before committing. Sometimes you may get a surprise when you first head to your cabin to find it is on the corridor with a dead end, making it difficult to get to other parts of the ship. Sometimes you may have a door to the outside next to you, making your cabin both noisy and cold. And sometimes you may be near noisy machinery. Most of those things will not appear on the booking website, but will be on the deck plans. There is one thing that for most of us is the biggest aspect of choosing any part of our holiday, and that's the budget. We would all love to sail in the biggest, most luxurious cabin on the ship, but that just isn't a possibility for most of us. For those with a set budget, such as us, the amount we spend on the cabin impacts other parts of our holiday, and we personally prefer to spend more on doing things in the locations we visit, rather than on the cabin, but for others, Spending more on the cabin and getting a better location or a balcony makes for a better holiday. When you know your overall budget and how much of it you want to spend on your stateroom, you will find it helps to narrow down your options of which cabins are available to you. If you are worried about seasickness or if you are a sufferer of it, you will want to pick a cabin that helps to limit your exposure to it. It is thought that cabins on lower decks and more to the centre or wider areas of the ship are the sturdiest in rougher seas, so you may want to pick a cabin in those areas. If you are sailing in a region full of incredible natural beauty, a balcony could really make a big improvement on your holiday and will be well worth the extra cost. But if you are sailing in a more built up industrial area, you may choose not to use it too much anyway. The money you could save on choosing an inside or even an outside cabin could be used to make the most of your time on shore, and even in beautiful parts of the world such as the Norwegian fjords, there are plenty of great places to get a good view all over the ship. Just like a plane has a luxury section at the front, many cruise ships also have a premium section that offers cruisers lots of added benefits and they'd also place their cabins in a part of the ship only open to those staying in that area. This ship within a ship concept is the ultimate luxury and brings a luxury ship experience to larger ships so you can take advantage of the best of being on a mainstream cruise ship such as the entertainment and the bars, cafes and restaurants on offer while still having all them luxurious touches. If you want to sail in the premium section of a ship 
It will really limit the cabin you can pick, as there are only a handful on each ship to keep the premium nature of them. For most of us, a cabin will be just somewhere to sleep, wash and get changed, while for others, it is somewhere we will spend most of our time. For those in the latter category, you may wish to pick a room with added benefits to really make the most of that time, but just what options are there? It does depend on the ship that you are sailing on, but many now offer cabins which include access to spas or ones that are located in the spa area themselves. Some cabins come complete with butlers to take care of everything for you, and some might come with added benefits of being able to order food from restaurants to eat in your room or on your balcony. When you look at the different types of rooms you can book on a ship, especially on modern ships, and especially, especially on the world's biggest ones, it seems like there is a smaller board of cabins, but in truth it tends to come down to four separate types, inside, outside, balcony and suites. Knowing which type you prefer will really help to decide on the actual cabins you want, as there are only so many of each type on a cruise ship. Balcony and outside cabins tend to be the most common, while suites do come at the biggest cost and sometimes come with added extras. The biggest aspect of choosing a cruise cabin is to make sure the location is in the right place, as it really can make or break any holiday. Not only is the most important aspect, but it's also the trickiest to decide on. There is so much to take in mind when deciding. If you have a favourite place to be whilst on your ship, you will likely want to pick a cabin closest to where that is, whilst if you tend to be all over the ship, a more central location will be best. We always try to pick a cabin close to a lift bank and stairs, so we can easily nip back to the room when getting on board and also get around the ship more easily, but these are also high traffic areas, so you don't want to be too close. Speaking of which, we always try to be not too close to any bars, entertainment areas, uh, theatres for example, as well as to the pool and entertainment decks, as not only are they the noisy during the day, but they are also likely to be noisy at night when you are trying to get some sleep. Getting to sleep can be an issue if you get a room at the aft of the ship, as that is often close to the engines and you will find your room vibrating. But then again, it's also often in those sort of rooms in that location that are amongst the sturdiest and therefore best for those with motion sickness worries. So there you have just some of the things to think about when it comes to the location, but thankfully many other aspects on this list will help narrow down to just where you can stay. So all that remains to be said is thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed our look at our top 10 tips for choosing the perfect cabin on the cruise ship, and see you next time.